It'll be green, white, checker. Here we go. Rusty tried to anticipate that He did. He did a really a good, good job. He better block good run. Better blocking. Kurt Busch gets a good run off turn two, though, Darrell. He pulls it by one car length, lap and a half to go. Rusty had the bumper right there in turn one, but Bush is driving away. And right now, Rusty Wallace, white flag. He'll have his hands full of Kevin Harvick in that 29 car on those fresher tires. Kurt Busch pulls away by another car length down the back stretch. Kurt ooh, Busch running. Ooh. Oh, McMurray slides up the racetrack off Kenseth's bumper. Checkered flag, Kurt Busch. Man, I think Matt Kenseth in the 17 kind of dropped kicked Jamie McMurray in the 42 car. And here comes McMurray, oh and there goes gosh. the 30 around. Here comes McMurray up here looking for the 17. And, and after the flag, Sauter came down and ran in the back. Here we go, here we go. And the line will start to form. I don't the know all the office. People. Here he comes. He's still got him. He's mad. Turkey, you. And he turned him around down on eight when you're right. Who did Johnny Sauter get down in turn one after? I think the he was just trying to get slowed down from everybody to him. Yeah. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Kurt Busch has got to be a pretty happy young man right now. He won this race, and I don't think anybody's mad at him. <laughs> and I think he's going to do a display of burnouts for everyone here. He's already done it on the front stretch. Now he's down in turn one and two. Welcome to the Nextel Post Race Show, brought to you by Nextel. NASCAR and Nextel, partners in speed. Oh, what do we show you first? Well, How about good. Jamie McMurray and Matt Kenson? Jamie did a whale of a job to, just to hang on to his race car. Then he gets bammed all over the place. Now he says, that wasn't very nice. Now the race is over here. Checkered flag has been displayed. He's yeah. hunting that 17 car. I'm trying to figure out exactly where do I want to hit him at. Just rub into him a little bit. And then Matt says, okay, okay. So I, hopefully you're finished. Oops. Maybe you're not. I had that coming. Thank you. And Matt is with our runner-up. He's Clyde from the race car, taking off his Hutchins device. Rusty, so close to number 10 here today. Yeah, doggone it, man. We didn't need them last cautions. I was all over his rear end, just getting ready to pass him when the caution flag come out. Then it come out again. Then it come out again. Then it was four laps ago. I lost the power steering. Heck, his thing is hard as hell to turn. So that's it. Man, I wanted that bad. So close. It looked like he came close to his bumper going in the one there on the restart. Yeah, I got down there. I just couldn't turn it. The thing was steering so hard, I couldn't get the thing wheeled around on me. I just, uh, yeah, it was just a racing deal, you know. It was green, white checkered. You just got to do what you can do. And uh, we had a good second place run. Had his fastest car in the field all day long. And, man, I just hate to come up short like that to Dick. Matt Kenseth finishes fifth. What was going on at the end between you and McMurray? Uh, it was a good run. It just, uh, you know, Jamie got in me by accident down there because I slowed down for the corner and uh, I got back into him here a little bit. But, you know, no harm, no foul. He didn't wreck me. He just knocked me out of the groove and I did the same thing to him. So, um, some, you know, they say nice guys finish last, I guess. And I just, uh, you know, try to be nice and sometimes you're on the receiving end too much, you feel like. So, uh, it's no big deal. I mean, he didn't wreck. I didn't wreck. Uh, except for when he wrecked me on pit road, wasn't necessary. But other than that, it was a great day for our Dewalt car. We didn't have a very good car. We just uh, survived all day the best we could, hung in there, and, um, you know, waited, waited until then and got some track position when we needed it. And another top five finish. Thanks, Dick Berger, and that's Kurt Busch. Fourth win in Bristol in five tries with Jeff Hammond. Chris Myers, we're in victory lane, sipping the Powerade. He has done it once again, Jeff. I'm telling you right now, this young man is incredible. As he said earlier in the week, he said, hey, I just rent me a room up here trying to match up to what Al Walter was doing all along. And that's the win here in Bristol. He's got it down back, Chris. All right, some fireworks, some confetti, mixture of booze because of the aggressive temper of Kurt Busch, but he held his temper in check and has. He's handled this race very well. Our genie's
Jeannie's Alaska is right behind us. So is the car. And Kurt Busch, the winner here today. Jeannie. And got to get a hug from the crew, Chief. The crew waiting behind you. Only three drivers before yourself. And one back to back to back races here at Bristol. We can add you to the list. And on behalf of one of our guys in the broadcast booth, he's done the same thing. Congratulations. Thank you. This, this one by far has got to be the sweetest because of what we had to overcome. I, I don't know why the motor wouldn't run. We had about 1,000 RPM left all day today, which provided for great forward bite. So we were able to come off the corner good. But we were junk on restarts, and I, I just couldn't get the car to handle the right way all day. So we've got to go back and understand why. And just a tribute to this team on how we were able to adjust after Atlanta. We came to Darlington with a new program on what we thought we could do with this new tire. And for surely, it's, I mean, it's just unreal. I mean, it... <laughs> unreal was how many laps were you planning to stay out there buddy you didn't come in and pit your crew chief thought maybe you should come in maybe a little bit of a disagreement there everyone's happy now but what was the communication problem there we had 20 laps on our tires and it was about 140 to go and i looked up in the mirror and a couple guys didn't pit behind me so i just jumped in front of that cone as far as the commitment cone and stayed out but lo and behold those guys were a lap down so it was a decision that i was wrong on and i had to bail myself out on it's just an awesome day for this group 40th anniversary for Sharpie. They brought up a special paint scheme. Again, we got this thing in the victory lane. Phenomenal day. So just all of our associate sponsors were Coca-Cola, Kraft, Visa, Gillette, Young Guns. It's awesome to be part of this group and just keep digging. One race at a time, but when we get to the final 10, there's going to be no, no holding back. you got to let it rip. We need your third Sharpie now to sign for that winner's check here at Bristol. Chris, congratulations. Right. Thanks, Jeannie. 25-year-old Kurt Busch, the baby face from uh, Las Vegas as we are in victory lane where uh, he is uh, celebrating four wins and five tries at Bristol. Uh, we'll come back in just a moment, talk with some of the other competitors, try to figure out what happened behind uh, Kurt Busch, which is always an adventure. You're watching NASCAR on Fox. We'll be back in a moment.